Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today we're going to talk about printing statements. There are several places from within Dentamax where you can print a statement, one of which is a ledger screen. So we're going to go ahead and look at Donald White's ledger here. And not only does it show Donald's uh, procedures, but his wife Mary's procedures as well. Okay. Uh, from here in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, um, you have several different types of statements that you can print out. I always choose the family statement. So where it says print family statement, we'll go ahead and click on that. And the reason being is that the family statement shows everybody in the family. And usually a family wants to see everything that they owe, not just one individual family member. So we're going to go ahead and click on print family statement. Now there are three different types of family statements. And so it's very important in your practice that you know the differences between these three and you pick the right one that fits your practice. The first type of family statement that I'd like to look at is the anticipated family statement. So there's different ones. Um, I like the one that shows a credit card as a payment option. So I'm going to go ahead and select anticipated family statement with credit card right here. Okay. We'll go ahead and click on print and say OK so we can view this statement. So there's our credit card portion. Here's all the details of the procedures that are owned by both Donald and by Mary. And then, then if we scroll down to the bottom, um, this is the main difference between this statement and the other two. And that is it shows an insurance estimate portion and a patient due portion. Okay? And so the patient due is the amount due by the patient's family based on insurance estimations. This is my favorite statement. Why? Because it allows me to collect money from the patient at the point of service. Okay? And so the program knows what the patient owes before it collects the before you collect the insurance amount. Okay, so it's estimating the patient due amount based on your coverage table. All right, we'll go ahead and click on close. Okay, um, there are other statements. You have a standard statement in the program, so we'll go ahead and click on print family statement, and then we'll select standard family statement. So we'll go ahead and scroll down, and here's a standard statement family with a credit card. Click on print, and click on OK. And then this will look the same, but at the bottom, it's showing a balance due of $1,067.40, a lot more. Why? Because a standard family statement will show the total balance owed, regardless of who owes it. And so it shows a total family balance owed, regardless if the insurance owes it or the patient owes it. This just gives you the total amount, total balance due. Okay. Now, the third statement is the responsible party statement. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on print family statement again. And then we'll select, um, scroll back up, and re responsible statement family with the credit card portion on it. Click on OK. And again, the top part will look the same, but the bottom part is different. The responsible party family statement will sh display only procedures that have been already paid by insurance. Okay. Another name for, that I give this report is the remainder statement. This shows the remainder amount owed after insurance is paid. Okay. A lot of practices use this type of accounting. Um, they wait for the insurance to pay until, and then after the insurance pays, they will bill the patient. Um, and it's an effective way of running a practice. I feel like that the anticipated statement is better. Uh, the one that I showed you first, because you can collect the money at the point of service from the patient. Much easier to collect the money from the patient while they're in your office, rather than letting them out and sending them a bill and hoping that they pay you later. <laughs> and so those are the three main different types of statements. Now, um, <clears throat> once you know the statement that you want to use, um, one thing that will help you pick that same statement every time is to make it your default statement. So. To do that, you click on File in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, and then go down to My Preferences. And then from here, um, we have, let's see, the a Family Statement, okay? And we'll select a default uh, report or default statement for that. And so uh, my favorite one, again, is the um, Anticipated Family Statement with the Credit Card portion on it. So we'll go ahead and select that, okay? And then over here to the right, we will select a default printer, which uh, is my laser jet. And then another option is to make it a quick print. So there are multiple steps. Click on OK. I want, really want to print it. Um, to bypass all that and have it be sent uh, directly to your printer, we, we can click on quick print. And we'll go ahead and click on save here. 
Now the next time I'm here in my ledger screen, I want to print out a family statement. All I have to do is click on print family statement here, and boom, it immediately prints my statement. It sends it directly to the printer, saving me a lot of different steps. I can go ahead and say, yes, I printed that statement. So it saves me a lot of steps. One last thing, uh, depending on what um, statement you use, there are different agent reports that correspond to those statements. So we'll go ahead and click on reports here, and I will type in aging, so aging, followed by family, and with our wonderful search tool, it's going to find all the different reports that have aging and family in them, and you will see that we have an anticipated aging report for the family, uh, a, a responsibility uh, aging uh, family uh, report, as well as a standard uh, family aging report. So these will correspond with your statements. And so if you want to have a, a, uh, an aging report that divides up what the insurance portion is for the patient portion, then you'd pick the aging anticipated family. We'll go ahead and double click on this and select OK. And this report that we're rendering will give you both the insurance portion estimated due by the insurance and the patient portion due. Okay. And then, of course, the other ones will also correspond to their statements. This has been your tip of the week. I hope it's been helpful. I look forward to next week.